Welcome to another Digital Lifestyle.com video show. Today we're going to be looking at HD Home Run. Um, been around, around for a while uh, in the US, but this is the first time it's available in the UK um, for the DVB-T markets. So this is the Twin Tuner HD Home Run DVB-T edition, so I can use it here in the UK. So what I'm going to do on this video, we're going to unbox it, have a look what's inside and go through the setup and uh, let's see how it works. Now, of course the great thing about HD Home Run is that the uh, aerial lead, the antenna lead, goes into the box, into the unit itself and then you connect it over the network to the PC. So, in the case I'm using well, the, the touch mark, I've got a USB tuner plugged directly into here so I've got to run an aerial cable up to the, where this PC is. But if I had a PC in the bedroom that I wanted to watch uh, live TV on, I could put this downstairs here on the network where the aerial is and upstairs I can be connected over the, over the network to the uh, to the tuning device, so you don't have to have your PC where your aerial cable is, so it gives you a lot more flexibility and being able to choose different PCs as well. So I'll set, I'm going to unbox it, have a look, and I'm going to put it through its paces in Windows Vista. Okay, let's have a look what's in the box. We've got a CD, some instructions, and they very helpfully include two. Um, coax aerial cables and a network lead as well to patch it in. We've got the actual box itself. So we've got some indicator lights on it. On the back we've got power, ethernet and the two tuners. So if you want to run a dual tuner you need to bring two in, uh, two aerial cables in. I use a powered splitter down the other end of the room. I won't be using it on this video but that's what I would normally use. Uh, so that would give me a dual tuner. For now I'm just going to use the one and use it as a single tuner device. And the other thing of course you've got is power and uh, that's just a single power adapter. Like that. So I'm going to connect this up now and we'll go through the installation wizard. So first thing I'm going to do is run the setup wizard and I'm actually going to use the latest uh, beta drivers because uh, I'm going to be testing this with Windows 7 later. So now I'm just going to run through the setup. Right, the wizard's finished now, so I'm going to let it detect the device. Now it seems to be updating the firmware on the on the unit. So it's found the the device. So now I can pick my uh, country. So I'm going to put in uh, postcode. So I can now choose which tuners I want. And I've plugged uh, the aerial cable into into, do that, into tuner zero, so I'm just going to enable that for a digital antenna. Uh, on digital antenna, Windows Media Center. I'm going to leave the second tuner disabled. Uh, like I said, if I had the uh, had it split, so uh, the aerial split, then I could use both tuners. Okay, so let's do a scan. Right, so it's found all the channels, I can click uh, finish and that should be done there. Now we can go and add the set media center up or we can actually uh, test it. So let's give this a quick test now, I'm going to try and view a channel. Chris has been phoning me up saying we've got to get them together because they want to have a mother and okay. daughter relationship. So that's working, okay, a bit of interference, but uh, I'll have a look at that later. So we know that side of it's work, of working, so now we need to go into Media Centre and do that setup. 
Right, so I'm going to media centre now. I'm going to set the tuner up. I'm going to settings. And it did actually prompt me before if before I started the video rolling whether I wanted to set the tuner up because it detected new tuners. But I want to shorten the video, so it's going to go through this manually. So I'm using the antenna on DVT, don't have a set top box. Deselect my existing cards and pick the HD home run. Like I said before, I've only enabled one tuner because I've got a splitter, otherwise they will both be showing up on there. So let's set this up now. I choose my nearest transmitter, which is Freeview. I'm going to download the guide data. So now I'm going to scan for uh, channels to see what the home run picks up. There's actually a flashing light showing that the tuning is going on. Well, let me pan the camera down and I'll show you. You can see that. So let's see what channels it picks up. Right, so that's found 75 channels. I'm pretty sure I found 76 with my other tuner and uh, 88 running Windows 7, but that picks up more of the interactive channels. Well, that's okay, so we can next that and then finish that. So let's go and see what the quality is like. Now, this is affected by networking as well as uh, signal strength issues, but we should be able to see what it's like. Can we go on to. Uh, I got no, it's not. It was, yeah, not 88, I think, around. See, that was probably Yeah. Okay, not brilliant. Well, now that could be uh, a networking oh, or a signal you. tuner. I suspect yeah. networking. You, I um, about what you let's try one of the other channels. This unfortunate truth that if you can't afford it, you can't have it. No. And, and suddenly mm. that's become apparent, you know, to, to yeah. everyone. We were all, everyone. Really that's much better. So maybe it is a signal strength issue. No, 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 no. You can't afford it, no. so you can't have it. No. And Which staying, is a, it's a bit of a sobering thought. It's a really sobering thought, and that. Concept. Sometimes I've been a bit now, the usual channels I have problems with are some of the ITV2 and Channel 4 is another one that I have issues with if I've got signal strength. Well, that seems okay. There are many ways to tell stories. So let's try ITV2. How you design. Thursday at 10. Good times on ITV2? <laughs> I think so. Well, that seems okay. Let me go try another BBC2 channel. Now, interesting that that struggles a bit. Now, that is a higher quality signal that comes through on the BBC channels, so maybe it is a networking issue. So, I might try something different in a moment. So, that's the HD home run up and running on Vista. And aside from the BBC One and BBC Two issues, which I'm going to look at uh, in a moment, it looks great, it's working fine. And of course, I really like the fact that uh, you don't have to have the, the tuner directly connected to the machine. This could be anywhere that's available via a network. Um, so I think it's a good product and I've heard great stories from it from people in the US, so it's pretty good to see it in the UK. And I did try it with it and haven't been able to get it to work. The drivers installed, everything works fine on it. Uh, the, own, their own, the, own, the HD Home Run software works fine and you can view channels in Windows Media Player through their software. When you come to a media centre and it does a scan for the, uh, for the channel, available channels, it just doesn't find them at all. So there's some mapping issue somewhere, a driver issue. Uh, between the, the home run and Windows 7. So hopefully um, this will be addressed before Windows 7 is out. I know that uh, US users are working with it and it works okay. So hopefully we'll get that running and we'll do another video running on Windows 7 because it would be great to have this and other tuners running at the same time that give me more channels and uh, more flexibility for when I record. So thanks for watching this video. Uh, details on the actual products and the pricing and availability everything on the uh, digitallifestyle.com link in the show notes. And I'll see you in another video. Bye. The digitallifestyle.com